guys, welcome to Wrestling Figure Wednesday. Today I'll be reviewing the Mattel WWE Ringside Collectibles exclusive Matt Hardy figure. This is a flashback of Matt from when he won the ECW title. This is also the very first time in the line that Mattel has released this title belt, which will make this figure highly sought after. You could get yours on ringsidecollectibles.com and save 10% with discount code MBG at checkout. They'll save you some dough and support yours truly as well, so thank you as always. It's awesome he comes with the old school, well not old school, but the more modern, later version of ECW microphone, as well as some interchangeable hands. So I really like the packaging, I uh, like the belt strap look, the dark blue is uh, really cool. Very nice colors on it, and it has a true effects head scan uh, technology. It says Matt Hardy on this side, picture of younger Matt there. And on the back, it talks about when he won the title and uh, the championship scramble and whatnot. So, anyway, that being said, let's take a look at him fresh out of the packaging. Alright guys, so here you have the ringside exclusive Matt Hardy figure fresh out of the packaging. Overall, I'd say it's a pretty nice figure. I'm pretty sure it's a repaint of his SummerSlam Elite just with a shirt and some new accessories. I actually haven't even opened that figure yet. I uh, fell behind with everything else that was coming out lately. That said, I just, I have them. I just never got around to uh, opening them, which I probably should do soon. But to be honest, I do really like this figure. It's really cool. Uh, the detail, and I like it more than the SummerSlam one. Uh, the accessories are great, especially the ECW title, which everybody will be after, of course. So this is what people want most. It looks very good. And the side plates are pretty detailed, as you can see. So, very nice. Probably, I imagine the only way this belt will be out. I don't know if eventually they'll give it to uh, someone else to come with, but it would be cool. Uh, you also have the ECW microphone. I think the older ringside exclusive CM Punk came with this, but I don't remember. The one in the red trunks. I could be wrong. I'd have to go back and look at uh, that figure. I do have it, but it was a while ago. So that's pretty cool if you don't have that microphone. And then, of course, you have his interchangeable hands, which I'll show you soon. So it's his other taunting hand, which is cool. And just pops in and out the pegs there. And then he's got a closed fist hand as well. So that's those. Looking at Matt, so here is his latest head scan for uh, old school look. He's got his hair tied back, short shaven on the sides and the beard, which looks really nice. Looks very good, honestly. I think it does look like a young Matt. He's got a rubber removable shirt, so you can see the notches there on both sides. And he's got painted elbow pads, which is really interesting. Then his wrist tape and hand tape. So he's got a taunting hand here and an open hand here, which is nice. So at least they did give him an open hand. So to pop off the uh, hands, you just pull it. Be careful, as you can see. It's good they don't just fall out. So just be patient popping them in because they do have thin pegs, but you can hear the little snap, so that's how you know it went in okay. So you could swap this one, of course, as well. And you can see his pants. I love the detail and coloring. Like the camo look is really, really cool. Even as the molded pockets and whatnot. And then his kick pads on his uh, boots there. If the camera will pick it up, you can see it a little bit, the detail in the boot, which is really nice. So that's Matt. And then we'll just remove the shirt so you can see him without it. It's too bad it's not cloth, but still. So you see, it just came off really easily. But here he is, shirtless, so it looks good. The belt is really detailed, which is really nice. And they did even paint the buckle, which is great. Because sometimes they don't. You can see the detail in the pockets and stuff there too. But overall I do really like this figure a lot more now that I have it in hand. I wasn't too thrilled personally as I'm not a big Hardy fan in general. But I do like it. It is very nice and I do highly recommend it honestly. It's a nice throwback Matt Hardy figure if you don't have the SummerSlam one. And uh, the accessories really make it worth it of course. So uh, yeah be sure to pick it up on ringside while you can. Remember. Use discount code MBG to save 10%. 
can be sure to like Wrestling Figure Wednesday on Facebook to suggest future reviews you'd like to see me do. I am now releasing episodes on Facebook as well as YouTube, so you can watch it in two places. So anyway, thanks again, and I'll see you soon. Like this video? Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And check out my latest videos. For all your wrestling figure needs, check out ringsidecollectibles.com.